Good morning, everybody. I'm delighted to present this beta of buttons. Um, we're now ready to go around uh, internally at We Are What We Do. Please don't share it externally just yet, but um, we've got some new features in there, and this will go to the client probably when LA gets back at the beginning of next week. So um, I'm going to try and focus just on the things that have changed. Um, here we are on the front page. Uh, there's this new Create Buttons button. We'll come back to that in a second. Explore Buttons. When I click that, it uh, scrolls down because this is one big scrolly page, and when I get down to the bottom, this highlights at the top. And these are some button sets that we've featured on the home page. Um, so clicking on a button set takes me through to um, uh, a page of buttons and nothing particularly um, changed here. All these work as they did before um, and uh, I can click on a button and it opens a new tab in my browser for the page of that button. Profile page is set up now so I can click through to this profile page and see all of Nick Stanlop's buttons. Um, we've got a bug here, that should be round. Um, the about page has been redone, that's now its own page, and you can scroll up and down. The contact page has a capture on it. Um, but uh, the main thing about buttons is creating buttons. So as an anonymous or, or not logged in user, and click the plus icon up here, say uh, this is my anonymous button set. Save, and that creates a better set of buttons, gives me a warning at the top to say this um, button set will be deleted in about four hours if I don't uh, do anything with it. Um, I can edit that button set so I can go back and put in a description here. I can add a button and I can add a button where there's not going to be a um, a recommended button. So uh, this is for Dev Opera. Um, If I scroll down here, I see the three buttons, the spacing's been changed a little bit, the hover's been changed. But the change here as well is that if I click one, I now get this selected icon over the top. At this point, I can drag the button around, or I can zoom in and out of the button. And I can do that by dragging this, or I can do it with my scroll wheel. I can drag right in and look at one feature. I can click a different button, and this one actually will get reset so every time I click backwards and forwards it just resets it to the way uh, to the center point of the image for dragging. Um, I can drag in, move the image around and click save. And at this point it generates a new button. Now that's actually generated as a 200 pixel image. So this is um, this is a very fast to load image which wasn't what was happening before. Um, I can put a second button in here. This time I might take a, a button up where I know there's a suggested one. If I go to BBC Co UK, it's pulling these two images from the website. It's pulling this one from our suggested buttons. But by clicking the suggested button, I'm still able to zoom in and drag it around. It's not essential for me to have the suggested button in exactly the way it's been framed um, by Ella, who generously created the suggested buttons. So that's that. Save. That goes into my button set. Um, I can drag things around in my button set and move things up and down, especially when I get a few of them. That becomes a really nice feature. And what happens is this little saving message that pops up here just while it's communicating with the server. You'll notice the time limit up here is ticked down. So there's now 3 hours 57 minutes before this um, will get expired. If I want to hang on to it, then what I need to do is log in or register. So I can use a number of ways to log in. I can register a new for, for a new account or log in with an existing account. Whether I choose log in or register, I now have some new options here at the bottom because I can log in with social networks. So rather than registering for account or entering an existing one, I can log in with, say, Twitter. And at this point, it takes me off to Twitter. It asks me what my Twitter username is and password. And I'll authorize the app. I'm not worried about that. Then it brings me back to buttons. Now I'm back at buttons. Um, it's asking me to confirm my username. We take this from your Twitter username. Um, that varies a little bit from social network to social network, so we might have some finessing to do there. It also prompts me for an email address. This is something that Twitter hasn't got because Twitter doesn't um, give out my email address. Um, I'm not even sure whether it knows my email address. The 
um, it does mean that we prompt a user for it and if they're not willing to enter it then um, they won't be able to get past this point. I think we need that for messaging purposes and that's something that um, Ella and I discussed. Um, it also makes it easier for us to verify who this person is and actually make sure that they are a real person. Although we do get some of that from our social network provider. So I'm just going to create an address. Um, it can't be the address of another user. If I try to enter another user address, it will actually remind me that I've got an account and give me the option to go back to that account or, um, or create a new one with a different address. Click Submit and it drops me into my profile. That should be round again. It's taken my um, Twitter username and set that up as my username and there is the button set that I created a moment ago. If I click through to that, I can carry on editing it. I can always go back to my profile um, and or I could create a, a new button set. Um, editing my profile, I can enter a known as so I can give myself a, uh, another name. That means that that's what will appear on my profile now. We've got a bug in the display of that, but Coco's working on it. Um, whenever I go around the rest of the site, that's the known as that's, that appears on um, my profile, so people are unaware of my username at this point. Uh, there's also a few other things in here. We've now got a description field. This is an optional bit about me. Save, and that appears here. In fact, without that message, it would just appear here. So, um, P this is where I can build up a profile if I'm interested. That profile isn't shown in here. This, of course, is the bit about the button set, but I can look at my um, my own profile and see that, and other people can look at that too. So, I think there's another user in here. That's Nick. Um, and this, even though I'm not logged in as Nick, I'm logged in as me. I can look at Nick's buttons. When I go into a button, I can't. Um, uh, I can't edit it, which is, makes sense, and uh, that is that. So, seven minutes on buttons. I hope that's interesting. Um, there's uh, a few very minor things for us to work through still. If you find any errors, please do report them um, to me. The best way for me would be a red mine ticket assigned to me, um, but otherwise an email to me would be, um, would be much appreciated. Please include things like a URL and a detailed description of how you actually created the error. Um, and thank you very much for your attention.